So I welcome you. I hope we will be joined by some more people eventually. So thank you very much for the invitation. My name is Tomas Mach. I'm a violinist. And right now I'm sitting in the Czech Republic crowd every morning. And I was asked to share my experiences uh, from traveling to Japan, meeting people, making connections, and actually how I all made it. So first I came to Japan, that was back in 2011. I came on invitation of KMC, Kansai Music Conference. Uh, I had never been in Japan before. My knowledge about Japan culture, Japan people was practically zero. I knew that in Japan there are samurais and uh, they eat sushi. And that was nothing more to eat. <laughs> I came to Japan and I met wonderful people. I was amazed how beautiful the country is. And pretty quickly, apart from the conference, I was super lucky. And pretty quickly I made some connections. I met people, I talked to people, and I asked, I practically played everywhere possible. Of course, for free, most of the time for free. I just, I didn't want, uh, I, I was not aiming for earning money. I just wanted to spend my time as wonderful as possible and play. So I prepared a little slideshow here, which hopefully will start, yes, like this. Connecting people, connecting, making friends. So this was my first days in, in the band. As you can see, I played a little concert in Kyoto. And we can see Alex there. <laughs> he attended this concert. I met people on the street, I met friends, I talked to everybody possible, which is quite difficult in Japan because people don't speak English most of the time. But okay, we, we managed. I kept meeting people and connecting. So uh, everywhere possible, I, I went. I was invited to the radio section in Kyoto. I met a wonderful singer, Mai Wakisaka, at KMC. He was playing with wonderful guitarists and sound. And uh, as you know, people, after concert, after any show, after any event, they like to gather together, eat, have fun. That's the, that's the time when you meet other people, even those who didn't come to your show, but you, you talk to them, you eat with them, you have fun with them. And uh, I was always asking, can I, is there any chance I could play somewhere? So they invited me for a conference or for you know, another conference. I mean, apart from AMC or some little events, new book, new CD, new movie, whatever event, even just lunch. So I went there and I played. And through this, these connections, I was able to return next day, the next year, I mean, next year, 2012. And I used those connections, I met my old friends, and I made more friends. So this is in 2012, where I was invited to have a speech at TEDx, Kyoto, first time that in your wonderful session. So there, of course, I met, there was about 600 people in the audience. And I, I played for them, wonderful occasion, wonderful chance to meet more people. This is a picture from KMC 2012, where I played. And actually, today, I opened my Facebook and the memory of a picture from KMC again. So, Nine years ago, this day, I was at KMC. Another event introducing my music, playing with several pianists. Uh, it was year 2013 when I came again to Japan and I had, I already gathered, uh, to make so many friends and so many events that I, I played with seven pianists at that time seven different pianists, every concert, different pianists. So it was challenging because we never saw each other before. Here you can see on the left side, you can see Keiko Takeda, wonderful pianist, who studied at Berkeley College of Music, 
Boston, where I also studied. But we didn't we don't know each other from school. We met in in Kyoto. Another place, wonderful place in Nara, on the right side, right, where I kept returning to people and, and pianist, another another one. So when you finally go to Japan a few times, of course you cannot you cannot expect that everything will happen quickly. You just have to hope for best, do your best, be polite. You have to realize that Japanese culture, Japanese people are very different from everybody else. <laughs> I, I used to live in America. I used to live in Bangkok, Thailand, for two years. I already had experience traveling. I had experience with taking countries. But Japan is special, wonderful, and so you have to give it a time and you have to keep coming. You, keep, you have to keep returning. People will remember you. And then, if they love you, then really they are very loyal and they will always come to your concerts again and again and again. I remember concerts under the Fifi. There was a lady sitting in the first row. Next year, I had the same concert at the same venue and this lady was sitting exactly at, the, at her spot. At the seat. That, that's lovely. They just, they just, they like you so they come. Even today, I said, I will have a conference in Osaka. He said, oh, yeah, I would like to. I'm sorry, just otherwise I would come. I have something to do. But I said, don't worry, I'm not in Japan. I'm, it's an online conference. The online conference has some advantages, but also some disadvantages. You know, I make it go I was home. I don't have to go to Japan. Of course, I would love to go to Japan. So this is uh, a parent video of music, so it's on, it's on YouTube, I'm playing piece which I compose, which is called Yushian. Yushian is a place in Kyoto, so you have to from there. So if you connect with many people, then you have to start traveling. So here we come to, we got some more pictures from concerts. I played everywhere. I went to schools, I went whatever, whatever I do. This is already this is already cooperation with with uh, one of the one of the pianists I play. With. This is a wonderful, amazing pianist, great singer, and a lovely person, a beautiful master. In 2016, I was in Czech and I was preparing my album, my classical CD. And I asked beautiful fans if he could play the piano for me. Well, I can't because I'm too busy. Ah, well, the end. I kind of talked her into it. And she came to Czech Republic and we recorded this CD called uh, Salud Damur. From that time, since that time we, we started cooperating frequently, I kept going to Japan and she, she kept going to Czech Republic and Europe. We traveled to Poland. So this is concert. The one is on the left side is uh, Osaka. The other one is sponsored by the Rotary Club. In, in touring is very difficult thing because you have to plan. <coughs> of course, it's expensive. Uh, but for example, traveling to Kyushu. Hiroko-san managed a few times to book the boat. There is a boat going from Osaka to Kitakyushu. So we want to Kyushu. The, the trip takes about 12 hours in the boat. And somehow she managed. I had a concert there. People were listening to me. We sold some CDs. And in return for this concert, the whole trip is for free. So we take a 
amount of money just, just traveling for free. I guess. Wonderful. So we did it like two years ago. I, I just skipped pictures from Europe because that would be a different story. Now we are talking about Japan. Uh, of course, Shinkansen is another way. I was very surprised one day when when we had a concert in Kyushu, Sunday, even, Sunday evening, and Hiroko needed to be in Osaka next day, next morning. So I was thinking, oh, okay, so if we talk to fly. Said, oh, no, we'll, we'll take a train. About 700 kilometers of train, he will be so tired in the morning. Well, it takes only two hours, two, two, actually, two hours and 40 minutes. So, this is the, these are the, you know, everybody who goes to Japan, everybody wants to try how it is to drive to Shinkansen so far. And very, very, very comfortable. Another way how to travel. And when you are traveling, meeting people, making contacts, you already have places to play. They invite you. Then you have to promote it, of course. So we, we took very good care of how we promote. How do we look? How do we appear in front of the audience? So we make always big effort to make nice posters. Of course, CDs have to have nice design, but also posters and sell the tickets. In Japan, most of the time you have to sell your own tickets, unless you are a big star. But we are not a big star, so we always have to sell, sell tickets to friends in advance and then hope they will come. And then once they buy tickets, they will come. These are some Japanese posters. And then, if everything goes well, you end up being mentioned in newspapers. Just have some mention of the concert. So, uh, meeting people. This is this should be a picture of meeting people. This is mayor of Okagaki Machi, Okagaki City. Meeting with him and organizing other concerts. He actually invited us for this event. We played there. He invited all the people, so because there was a mayor, of course, every, everybody had to come. So there were many more people there. And they liked it so much that they invited us again to play in the symphony concert hall. More posters. These are for yeah, picture from Czech, but poster for Japanese tour. These are posters from Czech Republic. Wonderful. We always hire professional photographers and professional designers. And as you can see, this is also one one of the design in front of the culture. Japanese design of posters is very different from. European. You consider French design, you consider uh, Nordic design or Czech design. It's also very different from American design. Americans, they have a different aesthetic and so do Japanese. These are Czech posters. And, uh, okay, we are coming, coming to the end of the slideshow slowly. I meant to never stop practicing. Another very important thing if you are traveling, visiting new country, meeting new people, you have to do your best. So, while traveling, while taking care of the gear, while renting the concert halls, while renting the pianos, organizing all those things, hotels. So actually, what it is all about. Lots of lots of lots of work and playing the concert is actually like a top. Okay. 
Kelly in the top of the cake. Let us go back to Saint. This is in there. Because if you practice, then people like it and then they invite you to do it. This is the concept, the symphony concept of the opera. And most important, never stop having fun. So this is one picture from Osaka. And the guy, the European looking guy, is Czech uh, expert on Japanese culture and Japanese language, who even got the highest medal and highest prize from the Japanese emperor. This is much, much higher. So sometimes it happens that he was in Japan, I was in Japan. So he just jumped to Shinkansen, came to see us to Osaka. He was in Tokyo at that time for dinner. Says my internet connection is unstable. Do you still hear me? Yeah. Are you still with me? Okay, good, good. All right. Yeah. So, last pictures from our last CD. With Hiroko Matsumoto, we managed to release four CDs since 2016 till today. The last CD was released by Czech uh, Radio. We have nice distribution in Czech, three radio station, main radio station in Czech. In fact, we recorded all of the CDs we recorded in Czech Republic because the quality is very high and the price for recording is at least three times less than in Japan. So it's worth for you know, to come here and record CDs. Difficult thing, another difficult thing is that as we don't play together all the time, we always have very limited time for practicing. So we have to practice at home. Unfortunately, it's impossible to practice online because there is a delay. There are like five satellites over Russia and China. So we cannot practice together. So even now, when there is a lockdown and COVID, we cannot play live concerts together. Unfortunately, so anytime she comes here, we have to wait in like three, four days to practice and then go on tour. Anytime I go to Japan, the same. Left and practice three days and then go on tour. No more time. I need money. Okay, easy to practice in somewhere and not have a contract. This is also a very difficult part. And yeah, so there's plenty guys to us. I love the Japanese language, so I study Japanese, but I'm not fluent. I'm not, but it's very difficult, but I do my best. This was my slideshow. Generally, I covered what I wanted cover and now I would like to ask you if you were to ask me to is there is there uh, Alex still mm -hmm. great uh, thank you um, so uh, we welcome any questions any questions for Thomas if anyone wants to ask any questions Actually, yeah, I have a question, if I could. I think, Stephen, we met somewhere. Is it possible that we met somewhere? Uh, See, so yeah, I studied at the Royal Academy of Music in London. Maybe I met you in Europe somewhere. I'm not sure. Norway, Australia, I'm not sure. Australia, definitely it's, not. It's, it's quite possible, I, though. I have a feeling that we, we met. It is possible, you know. It's a it's a large world, but you know, given all that, it's also a small musical world in some sense too. I was going to ask you a question, though. I mean, I know you've worked a lot with Dwayne and such in Japan and management, and you know, of course, also getting to know people leads, you know, like you said, to snowball to a different concert, more opportunities, different venues. Um, 
as far as going to the Czech Republic, I mean, do you feel like, do you do your own management? Do you manage, does the duo manage itself? You have to do the, all the groundwork, the phone calls, et cetera, et cetera. And, and if so, I mean, it's really hard work. If so, then what are some strategies you found have been very useful in that type of thing? Or maybe you have a, a manager that takes care of all that in the Czech, I'm not sure. Yes, now I have a manager who takes care of everything, but it has not been always like this. So first, of course, I studied and then I played with symphony orchestras and different bands. We always had managers, so I didn't have to take care of anything. But since I went freelance 20 years ago, <laughs> uh, I had to do all, all of these things by myself. And as you said, it's really, really difficult. Luckily, I play an acoustic instrument. So I just take my violin, which is not big, and I can go somewhere. But if I play with some somebody who where I need amplification, then of course I have to have, most of the time I have to have my own gear because it's mine and I, I can rely on it. And uh, I have to, unstable connection. Uh, I have to have my own car and, take care of all of those things and decide where I will sleep and what I will eat. And, and yeah, so it's, it's really difficult, but luckily last few years, I had more managers, but this one, which I have now, I'm very happy with her and satisfied. And she, so she takes care of everything. She tells me where and when I will play and she tells me where I will sleep. And then she tells me how much money I get, which we agreed before. So, I'm very happy for this, but you have to get there also by meeting people, by playing many concerts. You cannot expect that it, this will happen. Well, maybe it happens for somebody when he's 20, then I congratulate him. He's super lucky, but I didn't have this all the time. So I went through, I get it through hard work. Very good. Thank you. I think it's everywhere the same like this. If you, Sometimes I feel like, a, of course, I play classical music and I love classical music, but I don't play only classical music. I also play jazz and I play many, many different styles of music, bluegrass a lot when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's the same scene like uh, pop or rock music. You have to really carry your gear <sighs> at that stage, do the sound check. And then, of course, you have to do that computer thing. You have to learn with programs how to make design and how to record, of course, because not always you can go to studio. So how to record things, how to record movie and how to edit things. And then how to sell it, do the marketing, which I'm very poor at marketing things. So in the end, playing, as I said before, playing is like a cherry on the top of it. Big cake, big cake. And if I if I could ask just a follow up question as well, you you showed all the different beautiful posters that you have and are very good designs, professionally done. Where would you put? Because I know Japan isn't. I don't know if it's necessarily a poster type of culture. I know a lot of it's done online and through recommendations and friends sharing with friends, etc. So, I mean, what do you do with those posters? Where do you hang them in Japan? I could see that working really well in the Czech Republic, but. Do you hang them on storefronts on the front of the concert hall itself? I mean, are there are there places around the villages where they they have public announcements and such? Well, what do you do with them? Well, in Japan, I was lucky. I didn't have to do this. Uh, somebody did it for me always. So it happened once that we came to to train station, uh, like a subway station, somewhere remote part of Osaka, like Kyushu, somewhere. We came there. I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> there was a big poster of us and note that, oh, these guys, they will have a concert tomorrow. There, there, there. And, oh my God. And a bunch, <laughs> bunch of posters like this on, 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 the, on, the, on the table so anybody could take it also. And there was a little TV screen and there was a slideshow of other pictures. So I said, oh, wow, who did this? Actually, actually, I have to mention uh, she has her agent in Japan. So, of course, he kind of covered also our both. She's playing her own concerts. I'm playing my own concerts here. But when we are together, he also covers me. Just like my Czech manager 
when Hiroko comes, she always, my manager always take care of both of us. So that's what this uh, Mr. Kajiwara, what he is doing. So he managed these things. Um, in many ways, I was super lucky. Really, all my life I was lucky. And going to Japan was, well, really lucky thing. And we, on the way through all those years, we realized many times how lucky we are. We always met wonderful people and people help. Very good. Yeah, yeah, Thomas, always. if I can follow up on that real quickly. Um, basically, uh, posters and everything has to be done officially, literally like in a, um, a building or something. Um, everything has to be stamped by the people who approve a poster. So. Um, if you do a concert and it's sponsored by someone, they will print, they'll do all the uh, publicity for you. If you are doing it, um, basically you have to take it simply to the venue and let them take care of it. Uh, yeah, in general, posters not allowed to be put places. Yes, in Japan, I would never walk with a piece of paper and stick it somewhere on the wall. I would never do that in Japan. One, so then one who thing, was that? Do, I'm sorry, go ahead, you finish. No, no, one thing which I made a note yesterday when I was thinking what I would be talking about is in Japan, of course, everywhere, but especially in Japan, you have to be very polite, but, but not to be over polite. People are sensitive. So if, if they feel like you are only polite, only because you want to get something from them, it doesn't work. I, I don't have a problem with level of politeness. But in Japan, you really have to respect, be super careful, and respect what their, their way. You, you cannot push your way, like, oh, we do it this way in Europe. No, you have to. So exactly what Dwayne said. It has to be approved, and if, if it works, they, they do everything for you. Okay. You want to say, Stephen? I was, I, was, I was just going to ask, well, then, was it maybe the, uh, your pianist manager that was able to kind of take care of the approvals and such for, for, for putting the posters? Like, for, who, who approved, like, that giant stack of flyers and TV screen? And I, I assume, yeah. In 2000, okay. well, last time we, we played with Hiroko was 2019 here in, in Prague. That was the end of December. And we had a tour scheduled for... March 2020 in Czech Republic, and then big tour in, uh, in Japan in following April. So I already saw a huge billboard in Kyushu. I saw the pictures of them for our April show in that uh, symphony, concert, symphony concert hall. They were, I, I've never personally me as a, as a Tomasz Mach. When I played with big bands, okay, but as a me, I never had posters like this. They, it, well, they were not posters, they were big billboards. Wow. We are coming. But unfortunately, all of this was postponed, 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 and still be in postponed. I never know if we ever will do it. No, um... This, this we already went step over. Somebody does billboards for us. Wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, I must not forget, and I really want to thank again to KMC staff, especially to Dwayne. I was very surprised that you still remember me after all those years because I went to KMC only two times 2011 and 2012. And then, okay, I was touring in Japan, but I, I never connected with KMC ever since. So maybe you were, Dwayne, maybe you were in contact with Hiroko. But... Well, uh, yeah, I, I, I'd like to comment on that. And it's exactly what you said in terms of uh, you have to follow up. And, you know, if I, I've, <laughs> I've kind of immersed myself in the Japanese culture, but um, if you leave an impression on someone, here in Japan and you just vanish and don't come back and don't continue to do anything, then they're gonna forget about you. But, you know, occasionally I'll see Thomas's posters here, you know, um, not here, sorry, on Facebook or a couple of other things. And, you know, 
occasionally I hear from him, maybe he'll, you know, comment on something here and there. And it's those things that if you kind of keep yourself in the mind, then they'll remember you when something comes up, they're like, ah, who was that guy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, they'll, they'll reach out and contact you. But if you haven't been in touch with them at all, or you have no presence, they're going to say, oh, you know, maybe he stopped playing or, you know, maybe something, something. So, yeah, it's, it's extremely important to maintain contact, even if it's just once a year. Even once a year is plenty. Um, but yeah, maintaining contact is extremely important. Yeah, show them that you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. So how many people are we here? Uh, I have a question if that's all right. Yes. Um, so this was related to what Dwayne just said about the um, the the poster thing and you've explained really well how that works physically i was wondering how it works digitally um i'm in the uk and if i was putting on a concert i would start for example a facebook event for that concert and then invite people who were in the local area or who i knew who might want to come to it and i was just wondering if you knew or if Dwayne knew what the japanese equivalent of that is because you said oh. at the beginning you know, you're doing your own posters if you're putting on your own concert you're in charge of, you know, trying to get people to come. And I was wondering how, how you might do that online. You must not forget that not everybody has a Facebook. Hmm. And not everybody has a Instagram. There are people who actually don't like this digital platform at all. And I was actually touring UK. Well, even by myself, but with my own guitarist. Two of them, uh, two of us. In the UK, that's much, much more kind of free. And you, in the UK, you kind of, you can do your own posters and go to clubs and go to pubs and go to venues and just talk to the, talk to the owner and say, hey, guy, can I, can I put this here on the, on the wall? We don't even play here, but we, we, we play the next door. Do you mind? And usually in the UK, people are, have a beer and put it on the wall. <laughs> much much different. So, I also, unfortunately, I also rely a lot on Facebook. But really, many people, majority of people, maybe they don't have a Facebook. They don't care. And how many times I was so angry that Facebook doesn't work for me? Or with new buttons, or with new design. Last time it worked. Now it doesn't work. It's so difficult. So you have to, I think you have to take in account all possible ways how to promote yourself, not just one or two things. You have to do Facebook, you have to do all these digital platforms, but then you also have to pick up the phone and call and invite. Personally, I, I spent enormous amount of time inviting personal people. Even if you invite them on Facebook, then still again, hey, I have this concept and you just send them short messages or you call them. All of this you have to do with people to come to Thank you. Uh, yeah, if, if I can add to that, um, as of course <laughs> we, we should like just call a, a KMC one year relationships and networking. But um, it all literally, it all starts from networking because if you, for example, you established a relationship with, you know, one of the performers uh, this year and you keep in touch and, you know, maybe just say, for example, you have a record release or something and you're, you're not even planning to come to Japan, but you have a record release or, you know, something you want to promote to Japanese people, you reach out to them, which there you, you've already established a solid relationship to them with them they will, oh, okay, what, what do you have that I can do to help you promote? You send them the material, they will get it out to their friend. So like what, what all of what Thomas has done, he could never have done that by himself. He hands the things over to, you know, uh, Hiroko or wh whoever he's working with, and they put it out, and then he supports her. So that's basically how it goes, uh, be it online or in person. Uh, you have to connect with a Japanese person and they will lead you 
into the world of promotion in Japan. Thank yes, you. exactly. I think we have uh, Neta Slabi, my friend from Osaka here. She, that's a wonderful, kind lady who helped me many times in Japan. And actually, at one point, I stopped asking her for help or her daughter, uh, Jonah Slabi. You know her, she was a volunteer. At they helped me so much that one, in, at one point, I thought, oh, this is too much. I cannot ask them more. Of course, I would love to. They are so kind. But it's not that I would stop communicating with them. So I always always in contact. But I stopped saying, oh, excuse me, would you please ask if I can say something? Because I felt myself, like, oh, they helped me already a lot. So I, I, I give, give them a break. <laughs> But and other people can and help and so yeah exactly how we say you, you have to keep showing up and time to time say hi not only ask for help but hi how are you are you fine human touch Do, uh, do you mind if I ask one more question? <laughs> well, please, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm just a little bit curious about the TED Talks. That's a really great honor to be able to do that. Um, I guess I'm naturally curious. I mean, was that something that was a fruit or a natural result of your, your connections that you had already developed over there? Or is something that kind of, uh, you know, prestigious, something you can actually reach out to them and actually try to promote yourself or, you know, try to try to uh, you know, give them a pitch and idea, so to speak. I'm not sure if you can reach out to them. I think you have to be invited to the writer. And actually, again, like many times before, I was so lucky. I was invited suddenly, and I didn't even know what that is. And actually, at that time, I had another conference in Kyoto. Yes. Yes, the same, the very, very same day in the afternoon. Uh, so one day I was in Osaka, I was talking to my friends. And I said, oh, okay, the 16th, well, I have this conference in Kyoto, so I have to go to Kyoto. And actually in the evening, I have another conference uh, also in Kyoto, so I will stay there. The, the second one is called TED, I think. What? What? You go to TED? Yeah, well, TED X, Kyoto. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's a TED speaker. And then he showed me what the TED is. So I, I had no idea where they invited me. It's so stupid. So yeah, I was just lucky. And I'm not sure if you really can call them and say, look, I am interesting. So I would like to talk. <laughs> right. That's what I figured. Yeah. But 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 is that is a is perhaps a video of that of your talk available online anywhere? Yes. Do you know? Unfortunately, it is. <laughs> because Good. I say unfortunately, because I had a, such a wonderful sound in the hall, but some, for some reason the sound which is online is from the. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds okay. like a little child, but that's, that's the way how it is. The Japanese say, Shikata ganai, that means it cannot be helped. It's the way how it is. That wasn't so, your fault. Well, not your fault. If you if you put the, my name, Tomash Mark, and FedEx, Kyoto, then it pop up. And it, it, it has a quite a number of views already. Very good. <laughs> Oh, um, if you don't have any questions, and if you wish, I can play one song. But uh, maybe I don't know how much time we have. I think. Uh, yeah, sure, you can go ahead. Yeah. So I chose one one with uh, first computer pressure. Last one of the last CDs. Uh, uh, take take the screen share down. Okay. 
Also, Tomas, I was going to let you know, someone in the chat room actually left you a question. I don't know if you're aware of that. My question? Oh, left the question. That's the chat. Okay. You think that some aspects of Japan are actually unique? In what sense? I'm just uh, following questions. I think, well, I think we answered this already, kind of, but unique. Japan are actually unique <laughs> aspects. Well, unique. what I was surprised when I came to Japan. Is the level of well, forget, forgive me saying that but very very low level generally very low level of English speaking. It's very difficult to communicate. Although what I whatever I said, I said I communicate so much and I don't speak Japanese. I think everybody speaks uh, Japanese. Uh, speaks English, but people are very, very, very shy. They want to be shy, so we have to approach them this way. Very, very kind, very slowly. That's one of the aspects. Are they right? Oh, I don't know. You need maybe Japanese are just so wonderfully kind. Of course, over the years, I stopped idolizing that. You know, uh, good things and bad things everywhere. And good things and good people and bad people everywhere in the world. I'm just so lucky to meet always with wonderful people. I don't want to generalize, but I think that's a way to other people that are wrong about working, performing in Japan or the Japanese politician. I don't know. It's, as I already said, you have to be very, very careful, cautious about how you talk and to whom you talk and be, be very polite. If you don't do this and if you come to Japan and you, you try to show off and try to push your way, how we do it in our country, then you get wrong. You, and you are not welcome anymore. Yeah. Well, if that answers the question. Oh, that's actually for Alex. Alex, I see only your pictures. I don't know if you hear us or not. But... Inorisa, do you have any questions? So I will try thank, to thank you. Thank you. So um uh for me, um I, I uh am not a good English speaker. Uh so like me, uh the Japan uh Japanese um, can't speak English at all. For more oh, for more people can. So you uh, uh, you have to um, you have to remember some words. Arigato, konnichiwa, onegaishimasu. Uh, so remember uh, these words uh, before coming to Japan is very very important. I think. Uh, so just uh, saying a Japanese word. Uh, Jap uh, most Japanese like you. Yes, and yeah, that is definitely. Wonderful, wonderful thing about Japan, you say arigato, and they say, "Oh, you are fluent." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, oh, you, no, pera pera. <laughs> um, so, I people in Japan are very polite and kind. So, definitely. Uh, people like you that didn't 
uh, they didn't know how to um, how to I uh, um, pro produce how to express okay. uh, uh, their feeling to you. So try to understand each other uh, is the most important thing. I yes, and for real understanding, you you don't actually need too much too many words. Yeah, gesture and oh. smile is always good tool in Japan. That's why I started. That's why I started uh, studying Japanese because I I. I want to speak to Japanese more. They don't speak English, and I also my 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 mother tongue is Czech, not English. So I'm not native speaker really. But uh, I really, really like Japanese. When I was in Thailand, of course, I had to speak Thai because I was there for a long time. But I never felt that real love for the language. But for Japanese, I'm, I'm always I like kanji, and I'm always study something. <laughs> so hopefully next time when we see each other in Japan, you know, we can, I can talk. Okay, I wanted to say that we always recorded CD with Hiroko, like we call it big CD and small CD. The big CD is a whole album of usually classical music. And the small CD is her songs, because she's a wonderful singer. So the last time we recorded the small CD, it contained two songs. And uh, I had it done in the studio, but we took out the violin so that I can play live violin with her piano and with her singing. So, uh, now I will I will start my speaker here and battery one hundred percent and uh, message you not music. I will play one song, which is a beautiful song. And of course, there is a little bit of violin because the violin the piano microphone pick up the violin, up the violin but but my microphone is turned off at this point. And, uh, well, I would have so many stories, one experiences, but that would be long to say. But now I, I show you one nice aspect of online, online conference, which never happens, never happens live. Uh, I told you we really take care of the good presentation and the good image. Allow me. So I will take my violin. And uh, we'll play what song? My violin. Ah, okay, that was the joke. <laughs> you can never do this live. <laughs> I hope you will hear it well.
Thank you very much. I hope you could hear something. I answer your unspoken question, why Hiroko is not here? Because she's teaching right now. She said, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm teaching. <laughs> she couldn't join us. Anyway, thank you again for invitation. I hope to see you soon live somewhere. Thank you so much. Interesting to listen to. Thanks, Tomas. That was great. Appreciate the information. Yes. Uh, thank you for the. Um, oh, my hand is still up. Uh, thank you for um, everything in terms of your performance advice, and uh, very consistent with uh, basically everything that. Um, people have said from the Japan experience side. And um, for everyone who joined uh, this year, there's still a few performances left, one pre-recorded session. Uh, please make the best of this time. Uh, try and network. We have, um, yeah, definitely go over to some of the Japanese bands. Uh, Tokyo Night are now performing. They just started five minutes ago. Uh, so please go over, make some comments on their uh, you on the YouTube stream, or even better, if you're on Twitter, um, go watch their video and then hit them on Twitter with comments. And that would be, uh, I'm sure, very appreciated. Uh, they would appreciate very much. Uh, any final comments, Junior, from you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was just thinking of offering a translation of the words that I heard uh, with the music that you played, Thomas. Uh, um, your mere presence makes my heart warm, and your mere presence gives me the reason why I can hang in there and keep going forward. I thought that was a really nice message to go with. I told you so. Yeah, the beautiful music that you played with your violin. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so. Yes. Minori, do you have any, any comments? <laughs> I struggle with uh, so control my Zoom. Um, okay, uh, thank you for the beautiful uh, music. Uh, so your violin technique and I uh, put on the feel uh, immersion on the train as always are uh, mm, feeling are. Uh, how do I say? Uh, so I, 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 my, my feeling is very happy and warm. Thank you. I went many times to Japanese schools where I played for children. Yeah, they, that's they, good. They always write me on a piece of paper. Your play makes my heart warm. And mm. From small children, it's so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I wish to play for you on, once again. Right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely one key thing. If you have the opportunity, um, a rock band doesn't work, <laughs> but if you have the opportunity to play in front of kids or students or at a school, that literally changes everything because they hit you when you hit them when they're young they remember your face, your music, that experience even, you know, for who knows how long. Just think of, you know, when you were a kid, the things that, you know, you were introduced to it the first time. And what's even more impressive than that is you are not Japanese. So it, it really, wow, you know, asking for autographs and this and that. And, and it's, it's just really an amazing experience. So yeah, if you have the opportunity to play in front of kids, definitely take it. They want signature everywhere and everywhere. And the teachers were always surprised how, how the kids were paying attention. I have wonderful pictures, a whole file of pictures, and, and the children are always like, <laughs> And the teacher said, oh, yeah. we never saw them this way. And I always said, oh, your Japanese children, they are so well behaved, so, such a danger. Say, no, 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 only when you are here. Otherwise, of course, they're wi very wild. And always wonderful and then they always sing for me and, mm. and it's that's nice. nice 
they sing so beautifully. Yes, yes. And maybe one last thing about our English. Um, all the more because a lot of people here cannot speak good English, um, the more we are willing to maybe help you out, if not verbally, um, then through you know, physical actions. I'm pretty sure some of you have found yourself in a situation where you ask for directions in town and the person um, just goes ahead and, you know, starts taking the lead, you know, come this way, come this way, <laughs> because, you know, it's better, it's easier for them to do that than try to uh, explain that all in English, you know. Exactly happened for me. Yeah, so the, the goodwill is here, the, the goodwill is there, and maybe not, not the good English. <laughs> so maybe that's how it goes in uh, Japanese society, as far as English speakers are concerned. Exactly. That's why I'm studying Japanese to help them because they want to help me. So the, the least thing I can do is just learn Japanese. I think it's just like we asked the mom's the whole problem. Is it it? Can I um can I add one to that? Um, if that's okay, just really quickly to what uh, Junior just said. I was in Japan once and I I saw um an an elderly man in the street and I asked him directions how to get to this temple. And it turned out that he was a tour guide in his spare time because he'd retired from his job. And he took me to the temple and showed me around it for half an hour and then refused to take my money. He just he just did it just out of the kindness of his heart. Right, right. Really um, nice. Yeah. I mean, it, it would have been illegal to take money <laughs> unless oh, yeah. he had been a you know, <laughs> qualified tour guide or something but yeah i, I get your point and yeah thanks for uh, chi chiming with me sure yeah the, the main reason for that is simply because so for example uh did just a re really really quick story so I, I i visited japan three times and when i was visiting i got that kind of you know perfect treatment royal treatment and someone told me yeah but after you move here everything changes and it does <laughs> After they learn that you live here, no more help. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that one, yes. I, I don't want to move to Japan. <laughs> to and be welcome guest yeah. rather than being. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting. Great. Well, thank you so much, Thomas, uh, for your advice and information. And uh, thank you, everyone, for attending. Tomas, thank you very much for playing. Tomas, your playing is beautiful, and uh, give our best wishes to your piano player too. Let her know we love her voice and her her composition was really beautiful. Thank you very much. I will tell. So her thanks for sharing that. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye.